<clears throat> Let me make sure my mic and everything is working. I should have did that before I started this. I'm just in here chatting. I want to read over this CNET um, um, article. I think IGN had it as well, but I want to read over the CNET article. Microsoft confirms Xbox Game Pass ultimate price increase. More changes coming. Today is the 10th, right? Let me check something right quick. Let me make sure all my stuff is running. Go to YouTube right quick. I'm just going to play a random video just to make sure I can hear. Make sure this headset is on because I don't know if it's on or not. Okay. Come on. Xbox. Let me just type in Xbox. Okay, I want to see something. Let me check it here. Okay. Nope, I don't hear anything. Hold on. Did this thing? Did this thing charge? Okay, I guess it wasn't on. Okay, let me check something else. Let me move this over. Oh, I got on my speakers, my bad. Hold on, I don't even think I got this thing on. Hold on. My speakers on. All right, what's going on? Let me put it on the right one. And then we're going to get into the article after this. I just want to make sure everything is working like it should be. There we go. Okay, I just want to make sure it's working. Let's go back to the article. You know what? Um, I got my stuff stacked for now, so I'm okay with, with Game Pass Ultimate. Okay, sign up fast if you're hoping to avoid some, some of the price hikes. Okay. Microsoft's Xbox Game Pass service is raising its prices and shaking up its offerings. Microsoft on Tuesday confirmed a long-expected price increase to Xbox Game Pass, plus additional changes to the basic Xbox console tier. A representative for Microsoft didn't immediately respond to a request for comment, but the company has posted a web page detailing the changes. In short, sign up fast if you want to avoid some of the price increases with the best game pass deals as they take effect on wednesday okay here's a link to purchase a game pass membership at amazon for 15 dollars, and here's one for best buy so that's cool if people want to get game pass membership 15 bucks and then 17 bucks note that you can select which tier of membership you want and for and for what time period okay let me go down Price changes will go into effect for new members joining Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, Xbox Game Pass Core, and PC Game Pass. Also, Game Pass for console will no longer be available for new members, essentially because that tier is getting a new name called Game Pass Standard and different benefits. I think I'm going to pull up the tiers just to make sure. They may already have them on here. Let me see. 
prices will change worldwide for Game Pass Ultimate PC, Game Pass, and 12 month subscriptions to Game Pass Core. New member prices new member price hikes will go up July the 10th, which is today, and existing members will see their prices rise September the 12th. A full list of price increases by country has been posted online. U.S. subscribers Game Pass Ultimate will pay $20, up from $17. And U.S. subscribers to Game Pass Core will pay $75 for a 12-month subscription, up to $60 with the per-month cost remaining at $10 for those not buying the annual deal. The price for PC Game Pass will go up from $10 per month to 12 Um Since the company is also adding a new Game Pass option, and Xbox Game Pass Standard, which will cost about $15 a month and will be available in the coming months. The plan seems to be renamed and re- rejiggered <laughs> version of Game Pass for console, and as such will include hundreds of console games. Now, however, it will add in the benefit of the Game Pass core plan, including online console multiplayer and select member deals and discounts. But it won't include games released on day one, such as Call of Duty Black Ops 6 later this year. Reports suggest the Activision games will be coming to Game Pass Ultimate later this month, including Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Xbox Game Pass charges a monthly fee but gives players access to hundreds of games as well as a number of day one launch games from Microsoft's own studios. Before the changes, the um, CNET editors had dubbed Xbox Game Pass Ultimate the best content deal in gaming, noting that the subscription service includes access to online multiplayer services, encompasses console and PC game downloads, has a deal with gaming giant EA and cloud-based service that streams games to nearly any device. Okay. Did I go too far? Let me go back up. Let me pull up the tier. I just want to look at the tier right quick. Okay, getting yourself an Xbox Game Pass subscription is one of the most cost-effective ways to stay up to date with games. With Microsoft recently announced price hikes for Xbox Game Pass subscriptions and made announcements about upcoming changes. Okay, da, 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 da. okay, they got the tiers below. And to help you get signed up for less, we've rounded up some of the only deals you can take advantage of as of right now. Additionally... Um, let me see. Microsoft announced a new tier that will only cost that will co- that will cost only fifteen dollars and be and will be available in the coming months. So you can still avoid some of the pricier options and enjoy your favorite games. We'll continue to update this page as deals come and go. So be sure to check back often for the best prices available. Okay. Game Pass Core versus Console versus Ultimate. Okay. Okay, we already kind of went over that. I'm a PC gamer. I have the consoles, but I'm primarily PC. Uh, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to what re- what really s- fits my lifestyle. It's if you're a PC gamer, PC Game Pass is still budget friendly. It will go from ten dollars to twelve dollars a month, but still includes access to a much larger library of, of of hundreds of PC games and access to day one to new games on day one. This subscription also includes EA Play membership, which adds a few more titles to your library and provides some exclusive rewards and content for selected EA games. Okay. Game Pass console. I don't know what the what's standard. I mean, I don't know what the point is for this one. Game Pass standard. It won't include games released day one. Okay, well, I guess there's an audience for that. Apparently, Game Pass console subscription will be phased out. All you will be able to enjoy it 
if you're an existing subscriber to this plan, but new signups won't be able to choose from any of Microsoft's options. So it's just going to be Game Pass Standard and Game Pass Ultimate, looks like. Okay. Game Pass Ultimate three months for $33. That's not too bad. CD keys. It's the best value you'll find right now. Like I said, I've stacked mine up. I think I'm stacked up to next year, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, I have to look and see. Six months is not bad. Oh, it's core. I don't know core. To me, you might as well just get ultimate so you can get the day and date games. Okay, let me look and see where the um let me Google it. Let me Google. Um See if they got them on here. Let me see. Can I blow that up? Yeah, here's the tiers right here. That's what I wanted to look at. Okay, core, you just get online console multiplayer. For ten dollars a month, limited catalog of twenty-five plus games on console. Remember deals and discounts. Okay, that's what you get up under core. Standard is fifteen dollars a month. You get the online console multiplayer. You still get limited catalog twenty-five plus games on console. Remember deals and, and discounts. You get the Game Pass catalog, hundreds of games, but you don't get day one. It said not day one added at a future date. Day one, day one game additions, not day one added at a future date. It's best to just get the ultimate. It's twenty dollars a month. The only one that says, like, the online is free on is PC. PC Game Pass is $11.99. And then it jumps. It skips the limited catalog. It jumps straight down to member deals and discounts, Game Pass catalog, hundreds of games, plus the PC library, day one. What is it? Perks and discounts on games in the Game Pass library. EA. But it doesn't include X Cloud Gaming under the PC. Okay. Ultimate is the best deal because it's got all the check marks. Maybe some people just want core, you know. That's all they can afford. I don't know. It's just fake outrage on the on the internet. You know, people blow stuff up, which is normal for idiots on the internet, some of them. I got mine stacked up, so I'm okay. Yeah, the best one to get is Ultimate, look like. From what I'm seeing. Everything is going up, you know. I, you know, I don't understand. Gas is going up, rent go up, mortgages, you know, uh, depending on if you got good credit or not. Even some of the APR rates and stuff for uh, mortgages and vehicles, buying vehicles, is, that has went up. Everything's gone up. So 
That's the world we live in. That's just the world we live in. That's just the way it is. Okay, I want to make sure my mic work, but it does. Go back to all. Didn't PlayStations go up too? I think PlayStations went up too, but I don't subscribe to PlayStation. Um, cuz I don't play my PlayStation like that. Um, I play mostly single player games over there. Oh, that's the Verge. That's the Verge. I guess they're a reputable site. I don't know. They basically said the same thing CNET said, so nothing new. I did order the Xbox, I mean the Amazon Fire TV stick. I did order it. So I'm going to check it out and see, yeah, you know, what it is, what it's about. Because I don't play games on my main TV in my living room. That's mostly my movie TV. I don't play games in there. There's no consoles or anything in there. So I may hook it up to that one. I don't know yet. Or I may just hook it up to my monitor on my ultra wide because I'm going to take this um, Xbox um I think I, I don't have a series. I just have one Series X, and then I have the um, the the other Xbox, Project Scorpio. I still have my Project Scorpio Xbox. I may take that Xbox off of that one, off of that mon- off of that ultra wide, because I don't really, because my PC's in there too. I have a second PC, so I don't really use that Xbox in there. So I think I'm gonna just take that Project Scorpio um, Xbox off of that ultra wide and just use my fire stick this um amazon fire stick fire tv stick back there for my if i want to play on or want to play my xbox games because i got a whole pc back there as well you know so i don't know i think i'm gonna take that console off of that ultra wide and just put the fire stick on that particular and that's my work station too so I'm gonna see what it, you know what what is what is hitting for when I actually get the Amazon Fire TV stick in. I only ordered one, so I'm gonna see. And that you know I'm gonna see if it picks up pretty good because my my um router is in is in another room. It's in the room that I'm in now, and my ultra wide is in a totally different room. So we're gonna see if it if there's any latency. I'm gonna test it out and see if there's any latency or any lag or anything like that. And if it's not. Then I may play, you know, my Amazon Fire Fire TV Stick Xbox games back there. You know, we'll see. We'll have to see. But I don't want to put it on my living room TV because I don't. I do not play games in there. So, what? Okay, what is what is with this Xbox Live? It was down? I think I did hear somebody say it was down. This must have been a few days ago. Oh, this early in the month, July the 2nd. It don't matter. I was working anyway, but it shouldn't be going down. That's a fact. Tom Warren. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, they said it was down. Okay. Anyway, that's all I wanted to cover was the, um, this right here. I just wanted to cover the, um, price hike. Don't really affect me none. I was like, whatever, you know, things go up. Everything that went up, my, um, Food and went up, you know, I know that for a fact because I know what I eat hasn't changed. You know, I buy what I buy, and the prices have gone up. I pay more at the grocery store now. Um, 
I have a um, v, I drive a V8, <laughs> which is a gas guzzler. But even that, the price of gas has gone up. Food has gone up. My electricity bill went up. You know, everything went up. You know, um, what needs to go up is the wages. Our paychecks need to go up to compensate for you know for the for the how things are going. But it's crazy. It is crazy. So you know. These little luxuries and things, you know, these little things like this, our, our gaming stuff, even, you know, even in, in the gun specter, even because I'm a firearm owner, even some of my, you know, things that I buy for my firearms, ammo, targets, stuff like that has gone up. So it's not just gaming. Everything, um, everything has gone up, and that's just the world that we live in, so... People online with this fake stuff talking about, oh, you know, this and this and this. Well, PlayStation's went up, too, you know. Might have been a while ago, but theirs went up, too. And um, all this fake rage and people act like they're upset, you know, this and this and this. What can you do? You know, things go up. You, you This is one of the hobbies that you have. If you, if it's getting too expensive or whatever, then, hey, sometime you, you got to do what you got to do to save a buck, you know, so... All I can say is keep getting to the bag, get to the bag, you know, and um, try to maintain much as you can, do what you got to do. But, yeah, that's all I want to come on here and talk about was the um, the game pass, the different tiers, because I hadn't really sat down and really looked at it. Um, I think I, look at Dirt, I looked at Dirk Griggity's video and everything. He's hilarious. He, he makes, you know, he makes jokes about it and stuff like that. Makes You know, keep us laughing. You know, because we got the we got the laugh to keep from crying, so to speak. But he's got a good sense of humor and everything. And um, <laughs> yeah, y'all have to look at Dirt Griggity's Dirt Griggity's channel. Check out, check him out. He 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 makes a joke out of a lot of stuff and and keeps it. You know, he keeps it funny. You know, but the world we live in is a serious thing. You know, um, it's crazy. We just have to maintain and do the best that we can. These are hobbies that we like and we enjoy. So we, um, in order to keep keep this stuff going, you know, things are going to go up. That's the way I see it. PlayStation took their prices up. And they probably didn't have a choice, you know. Same thing with um, Microsoft. So I ain't making no big deal about it. It is what it is. If you, li if you like gaming, you'll pay. You know, if you don't, you'll find something else to do. Anyway. It's your girl, Miss K. I'm about to get up out of here. Whoever's going to look at this video later, I appreciate the support. And, yeah, I'm out.